Hello, welcome to Tech Talk episode 9. Also today I'm going to answer the questions you have been asking on our YouTube channel. The first question that I got was from uh, Wintomatic and he is asking if I have a load output on my MPPT charger, will it be active all through the night? Well, uh, yes it is, because the load output on an MPPT is basically just a function like a, a battery protect. It will monitor the voltage of your battery and if it comes too low, then it will switch off that load output. You can set the, the different criteria of that load output with your VEConnect app. So there are various algorithms. You can also select for always on, uh, but you can also use your own settings if you want. The load output is always active, gets the power from your battery. If the battery comes below a certain threshold, then it will be switching off. The load output is basically uh, the same amount of power uh, than the MPPT itself. So in this case, I have a 10 amp MPPT, so the load output is also rated at maximum 10 amps. This means you cannot have a, an inverter or a high other DC load directly connected to that load output. If you want to do switch your inverter, if it doesn't have an own uh, voltage cut off by itself, you can use the load output to connect it to the remote port. So then the load output will indirectly switch off your inverter when the battery voltage gets too low. The next question is coming from Chris. And Chris is asking, hi, which cable do you recommend for wiring between the battery and the MultiPlus in the camper van? Well, basically, and that goes for all uh, installation questions, that depends a little bit on the area that you're in because certifications, uh, regulation change uh, within areas. Normally, I would advise you to use Heligan free cable uh, because that's basically uh, the most safest way to, to wire the, uh, the installation. But it depends on uh, which area you are. Another question that we got is, why doesn't Victron make the multi-plus range, the 500 to 1600 VA, in 120 volt uh, for the US market? Uh, and we're working quite hard on that impact. Uh, but for us, of course, Europe is the home market, so most models are being introduced at first. But also we're working quite hard on getting as many 120 volt models uh, out there. But it's also to do with uh, certification and development, of course. Uh, but it will come. The next question is coming from Marek. He's asking, how long does it take for the Easy Solar to switch from battery in case of an electric network failure? Well, an Easy Solar, just as a multi and a quattro, is constantly monitoring the input voltage. So if the input voltage drops away, then it switches over. Depending on which point of the sine wave uh, the electrical grid stops, uh, the unit will switch over because if the sine wave is already going towards the zero points or zero volt, then it's expected to be zero. So at that point, nothing will happen. And then within 20 milliseconds, the voltage would rise again and then it would switch off. If the voltage is already high, so at the top of the sine wave, then the unit is able to react faster because then it's not expected that the voltage will change. So then the unit will uh, react in a faster time between grid connection and your battery voltage. There's also a question uh, from Dennis, and he is asking uh, the older blue power charge controllers, the 15085, something like that, uh, can you also plug an AV bus dongle in it, or similar, to monitor via Bluetooth? Well, I'm afraid not. That unit is only CAN bus based, so uh, you're supposed to connect it to a Serbo or other GX device. But you cannot set it up with the Bluetooth or with the VE Connect app. The last question that I have for today is about uh, the lithium batteries. In the data sheet, we used to have uh, a comment that you can have five in parallel and you can have four of the 12 volts in series and you can have two of the 24 volts in series. And uh, well, Mr. NASA is a little bit confused. Well, I can understand this and I must say uh, we have changed this uh, because from now on in lithium batteries, so the, all the smart lithium batteries, you can have 20 of those units in your system. So it doesn't matter if you have them in parallel or you have them in series, the 20 is the maximum. That means if you would go for the 24 200 amp hour batteries, uh, you would have a battery bank of 102 kilowatt hours. So depending on what you do, 20 is the max. Thank you for watching this episode of Tech Talk. If you have any questions left, leave them in the comments bar below.